The process for writing The Notebook when you started that yeah. started when? Oh, gosh. I kind of <laughs> had a midlife crisis. I was 28. I didn't know what midlife. I was doing with my life. And uh, I had two kids. My, my uh, second son wasn't a great sleeper, so my wife was, because she was getting up in the middle of the night, she was going to bed pretty early, like around 9 o'clock. Mm -hmm. And so I was selling pharmaceuticals by day. My wife goes to bed at 9. And so I say, gosh, what, what do I do? Um, so I just said, well, why don't I give writing a shot? You know, I'd written a couple of novels early on in my life that were never published. So I said, I'll give it a real shot. So I'd write, you know, three days, four days from, let's say, nine to midnight, maybe one day on the weekends, and six months later it was done. And now we, there you go. And that was the notebook. And that was the notebook. And it took how long for someone to, to find it? Not long. The first agent who uh, got my letter became my agent, still my agent today. It went up to uh, publishers on Thursday and Friday, you know, ferrying them out to different publishing houses, sold by Monday noon, so not long at all. So the notebook was technically then, it was, I mean, you, well, you started two others you said that you didn't no, finish? No, I, I wrote two others, one at 19, fully. one at two, okay. yeah, all the way, in front, one at 19, one at 22. As a big reader, I had a lot of naivete and said, hey, why, why don't, I was kind of bored, I went a little crazy, and so... I, uh, I wrote a novel when I was 19, same thing happened at 22, and yeah, you know, but at the same time, I was driven by logic. It's like, what are the odds you can become a writer for yeah. a living? I mean, I've got to actually earn a living. You know, I'm married now, I've got children, things like that.